Hi there, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to make a, another German classic, which is the Bienenstich cake. So a friend of mine uh, tried to make this recently with a recipe that's been on my blog for ages. It was one of my first recipes and he didn't have the best of success. So I went back and had a look at the recipe and I was like, mm, this needs a bit of a uh, rewording, maybe better explanations and maybe a video to just explain how to do it better. So um, that's what I'm doing today. So Alex, this one's for you. Um, hopefully you have more success um, after this. So yeah, what is a Bienenstich cake? So Bienenstich cake is um, a very classic German sort of summery cake. Um, it's made with an enriched dough. So you have, um, two, uh, you make an enriched dough, you top it with a uh, crunchy almond topping, and then that is halved and filled with like a custardy cream. Um, so it's fairly straightforward to make. It just takes a little bit of time with the proving and everything. So yeah, without further ado, um, let's just get started uh, with the baking. So I'm starting off with my bowl of flour. I've got 250 grams of flour, um, to which I'm going to add 40 grams of caster sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, mix that all up. And then I've also got 80 mils of lukewarm milk in which I'm going to dissolve my favorite um, half a cube of fresh yeast. Now fresh yeast, is pretty much readily available now in supermarkets in the UK. If not, ask the in-store bakery or any other bakery and um, they'll be sure to give you some fresh yeast. If not, you can also use um, the dried yeast. Um, the quantities will be on my blog. But yeah, I prefer using fresh yeast. That's what the Germans do. And I think it yields better results. Um, and then I've also got some butter, which is soft, um, almost melted, um, and that will go in at the very end. Um, so yeah, let's just start uh, making the dough. So the first thing you want to do is dissolve the fresh yeast in the lukewarm milk and um, just whisk that with a fork until it's fully dissolved and then pour it into the dry ingredients, so the flour, sugar and salt. And then you want to add in the vanilla extract and um, give that a bit of a mix. And then usually I'd add an egg first, but I forgot. Um, so add your egg first and then the melted butter and then give everything a good mix until it comes uh, together in a rough dough. So then you want to mix it with your handheld electric uh, mixer for about four to five minutes or until it's smooth, glossy and it comes together in a ball. So this is what it looks like after four or five minutes of kneading. I'm now going to cover this uh, bowl with cling film and then leave the dough to prove for about an hour or until it has um, doubled in size. Okay, so while we're waiting for the dough to rise, we're going to prepare the custard um, for the filling. So in Germany, what's very common is to have these packets of custard powder. Now I did check in the UK supermarkets, you can get it as well. Um, I'll just blend in a picture of what I found, for example, at Morrison's. Uh, so I'd uh, recommend just using that. But I'm going to use uh, the good old Dr. Edka, which I have imported uh, from the Deutschland. Um, so yeah, we're going to use this uh, to make the custard um, and then leave it to cool before um, folding it into the cream later. So to make our custard, or pudding as it's called in German, I'm, I've got 40 grams of caster sugar in a bowl uh, to which I'm going to add the pudding uh, custard powder um, and 6 tablespoons of um, the milk, which is 300 ml in total, and um, the rest of the milk we are going to bring to the boil. So then pour the remaining milk into a saucepan and place it over a medium to high heat and then just whilst you're stirring it slowly bring the milk um, to the boil. Once it's boiling you can then pour in the custard powder sugar milk mix and then just return it again to the heat and cook for another minute or so until the custard is thick.
And once the custard's thick, you then want to pour it into a shallow bowl and then put some cling film over it, making sure that the cling film actually covers the surface so that um, the custard doesn't form a skin. Okay, so our dough has roughly doubled in size. So what I'm going to do is I've got this 26 centimeter round uh, spring clip tin and I've got some butter spray again, of course you can just use melted uh, butter and I'm just going to quickly grease the tin and put the dough in the tin. Okay, so our next step is to prepare the crunchy almond topping. So I've got my double cream um, that I'm going to use for later, but I'm already going to use a tablespoon of that now and add that to 100 grams of caster sugar and 100 grams of butter um, in a pot. And we're just going to slowly bring that to a boil. And once it's boiling, we will add our flaked almonds. It's very important that you use flaked almonds as only they'll be thin enough um, to make a crunchy topping and then we just leave it to cool ever so slightly before putting it over the dough So this is what the bean steak looks like before baking and um, make sure it's all evenly spread out um, and this should caramelize nicely now in the oven. So the oven's preheated to 190 degrees so I'm just going to bake this now for 25 to 35 minutes and um, just until the base is cooked and the top is nice and caramelized. Once you've taken the cake out of the oven, leave it to cool in the tin for about 10 to 15 minutes and then use a palette knife or something similar to loosen the edges and then remove it from the tin. And um, make sure to also remove the base um, and then place it on a wire cooling rack um, so that it can cool more quickly. And once it has cooled um, completely, which should take about half an hour to an hour, um, you can then transfer it onto a chopping board. And what you then want to do is cut the cake in half um, horizontally. So what I normally do is I take a sharp knife and I normally do um, like one centimeter indentations around the circumference of the cake, just so that I know roughly where I'm wanting to cut it. And then I take the knife and put it all the way through and cut it um, completely. Next, you want to then lift the, the top of the cake um, onto a separate plate. Now, I've just used this cake lifter that I have. I'll leave a link in the description below the video if you're interested in getting one too. And then put the base onto the, uh, the plate that you're wanting to serve the cake on. And then just take the top back onto your chopping board. And what you then want to do is cut the top into 12 um, equally sized pieces. Okay, so it's a wee while later, the um, cake yeast dough has cooled completely. So what I've done is I've cut it in half, I separated it, as you will have seen, into the base and the top. And the top I've already cut into 12 pieces because it's actually um, quite difficult um, to cut it. And you don't want to cut it when the filling's already in because then it'll just ooze out of the cake. So the fact that you've already then cut the top and we place it on top means it's easier to slice later and all the filling won't ooze out. Um, so we're just going to set this aside and um, now we're going to make the custardy cream filling. So for the filling we're going to whip uh, the remaining double cream 
and um, then fold in the custard. So those of you who've seen um, some of my videos before you know my top tip when you're whisking whipping cream, always chill your bowl in the fridge, chill the whisk in the fridge and chill the cream and everything has to be completely cold and that will give you the best results. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna whip the cream and then we're gonna add our custard and fold that in. So then just use your handheld electric whisk to uh, whisk the cream until it forms stiff peaks. Make sure to go slowly at the end as it can turn uh, too thick and over mix very quickly. And then what you want to do is fold that cream into the custard. So if you take your custard, um, you may have to give it a bit of a mix um, to loosen it up again um, and make sure that there's no more lumps. And then take about a dollop of the cream and just mix that in normally and then fold in the rest of the cream. The best way to fold something in is to use a spatula and then just go round the sides of your bowl and cut through the middle and then just repeat that motion until um, everything's been combined and there are no more streaks. Okay, so now that that's done, we are ready to assemble. So if you just take the base that you had earlier and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, spring form clip thing and I'm going to put it back around the base and tighten it and that way you can, you can um, use that to assemble the cake and it will look nice and neat. And then if you can resist not just eating it, you can scatter um, some of the flaked almonds that fell off earlier over the top. And now we're just going to spoon um, this on top of the cake and spread it out in an even layer. So you want to make sure you get it all nice and even and I'm using um, a spatula as well to like scrape it down the edges because you want the edges to be clean. And yeah, the, the equipment I'm using actually is from my the latest Bake Off box. Um, I filmed a video on that too, so um, make sure to go check that out as well if you're interested. Okay, so next we're going to take the segmented top and place them on top of the cake. And then we're just going to put the whole thing in the fridge again for at least an hour so that the filling can firm up again um, before slicing the cake. Okay, so there we have it, our German Bienenstich um, two layers of enriched dough, an amazing almond uh, crunchy topping and a custard cream filling. Now, if you are feeling lazy and you want to um, skip the custard, you can also fill this just with whipped cream, um, but I do think the custard adds a certain something and whilst you're waiting for the dough to prove, I think you might as well um, make some custard. So yeah, this is a slice here, again you can see the three different layers and um, yeah I'm just gonna try it now because like I can't wait and I've been waiting for it all morning so I'm excited okay get everything mm. get some of that almond the almond topping I yeah I love it I think this is probably one of my favorite German cakes there is. Okay, I think I say that about everyone. <laughs> but okay, this is one of my many favorites. I I think Bienenstich, it's so good. Like in the summer, perfect. And yeah, the crunchy almond topping really makes it. So yeah, definitely please give this a try. And um, the recipe will be linked below. Of course, always on my blog. 
There's also loads of other recipes, so if you want to give them a go and um, do that. Um, I've also got a few other videos on German um, classics, such as the Erdbeerboden, which is like a strawberry fan cake, and the Russian Zupfkuchen, um, so it's like a baked chocolatey cheesecake. So yeah, make sure to give those a go as well. Um, please feel free to like and subscribe to my channel if you um, like these videos. And uh, yeah, I will see you soon with another video.